Hey guys, what's going on? This is Travis P11. I'd like to welcome you back to the channel. Well guys, today we're going to be doing uh, some accuracy testing with the Sig Sauer Mosquito Chambered in 22 long rifle. Um, it is a German manufactured uh, semi-automatic pistol made by Sig Sauer. And uh, we're going to see just how well it functions. Uh, primarily we're going to be using CCI Mini Mag, CCI Standard Velocity, and CCI Stinger Ammunition to see if it functions well and has any issues. We'll also be bringing some federal Winchester and Remington ammunition with us as backup ammo just in case there's any problems with feeding or failure to eject and so on so that way we can get the testing done. Uh, we'll be shooting from various different distances and uh, just to see you know what kind of uh, what kind of accuracy you can expect for just a um, you know box stock standard pistol right out of the box. Now the pistol is on loan to us from Stan the owner of SS Pond in Lexington Nebraska. Um, this pistol does belong into Stan's private collection. Uh, guys I want you to give SS Pond a, a call and they will definitely take care of all of your firearms needs. They offer great prices, great customer service, they're excellent people to work with, and uh, I've been going there for quite a while. So I guess without further ado, let's go ahead and head off to the range. Here we go. Okay, we're going to do 5 yards and 10 yards with CCI mini mags, 5 yards and 10 yards with CCI standard velocity, and then 5 yards and 10 yards with CCI uh, stingers, and we'll see what kind of accuracy the 6 hour mosquito can pull off. All right, here we go. All right, so the only issue I really have with the pistol is that it is such a light shooter. I feel like I'm almost getting not enough feedback to know if the gun's even going off. Um, I like to make corrections while I'm shooting, and I'm not complaining. I'm not going to lack of recoil. Just awesome, awesome. But it is weird having a pistol with so little recoil. So with the mini mags and the standard velocity, I hardly knew that I was even shooting it. Again, this is just first shots through this pistol. I really hadn't had a chance to practice with it much, but just kind of figuring out where the sights were landing. Initially, I thought I was gonna have to shoot a bit off to the right. Then if you twitch a little bit, you're closer to the bullseye. So that's not bad, 15 feet, 30 feet, 10 yards. I think I did six on the first shot maybe and uh, four on the next, because I know I didn't miss. Um, Spread out a little bit more in the mini mags. Standard velocity, much tighter group. I was much more focused that time. But then at 10 yards, it spread out just a little bit. And then finally, the stingers. I'll tell you, if you want feedback, if you want felt recoil in this pistol, 
shoot it with the CCI stingers. Um, I did have some feeding issues, had one or two. That first round did not feed properly, so I had to eject the magazine, manually back the slide, and then put that first round in. Um, it a little bit finicky with the stingers, and, and I knew going into it that this gun can be finicky with ammo. Okay, 15 feet, decent group, not bad. And I had four four rounds. Of, I think might have only been loading nine in it accidentally. I don't know what the deal is, but 30 feet spread out a little bit. So you can see the group does open up considerably when you go from five yards to 10 yards. Still a fun little pistol to shoot around with the fact that you get yourself a brick of 500 and shoot this thing all day. Um, really makes it cool. So what we'll do now is just set up a target. I'm going to go ahead and shoot. You know, I think I'm just going to go ahead and use the mini mags. I have the most of that left over and it cycled properly with that ammo. I'll put one target up and we'll just do a walking distance. We'll just keep going back, uh, do a few different groups and we'll go from there. Well guys, it was a beautiful morning to come out and do some shooting with this uh, Six Hour Mosquito. And again, this was provided to me from Stan, the owner of SS Pond in Lexington, Nebraska. Uh, Stan is the owner and this comes from his private collection. I shot it fairly well today considering it was the first time I've ever taken it out. I'm just not used to a gun with so low recoil. It's like you almost expect that recoil and it's just not there. Guys, this would be a fantastic pistol to start off a, a small child with or maybe somebody who's recoil sensitive. Um, as long as you run the mini mags or the standard velocity ammo, you're going to notice less recoil overall versus the CCI Stinger. Stinger had some misfeeding and I knew going into it that this little gun could be kind of finicky with certain kinds of ammo. I had a great time shooting it. It was a lot of fun. It can be a very accurate pistol in the hands of the right shooter with enough practice. So there you go. All right guys, thanks for joining us today. Please like or subscribe. You can follow me over on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I'm also on gunchannels.com with the Ordinary Average Guy Gun Channel and on Saturday mornings at 8 a.m. on YouTube and Gun Channels. We've got the Caliber Corner podcast. Uh, it's typically around 8 a.m. Central Time. So Again, beautiful morning, great time to come out and shoot. So from the Rob Jeffrey Firing Range, south of Lexington, Nebraska, I want to thank you for joining me today. Please like or subscribe, guys. I want you to have fun, be safe, and as you know, we will talk to you soon. All right, thanks for watching.